were part of the empire. It's absolutely central to their identity. As I've said, it embodies inequality. It's not just a symbol of inequality. It is the ultimate expression. People who God decided could be in charge. That's literally the terms we're speaking in here. And we have to argue with that. One argument that's leveled against Republicans is that if we had a president, we'd have a Trump. We'd have this kind of corporate sponsored demagogue. As if Liz Truss isn't that already. As if Boris Johnson isn't that already. As if the monarchy isn't that already. As if Prince Charles isn't a front man for arms firms. As if the Queen, even though she maybe didn't publicly do that stuff, didn't tacitly let it happen, tacitly endorse it. And it's also a question about the kind of society you want to have. A lot of monarchists come to you and go, are you a Republican so you'd want a president? That would be rubbish. And it's like, no, I'm not trying to replace what we have now with some other kind of crap capitalist society, guys. I want a completely different kind of society, which is much more communal and is based on sharing things. I mean, if I had just inherited billions and billions of pounds, massive amounts of land, gigantic amounts of privilege, at the point when the country I claim to serve is about to plunge into an energy crisis, is in the midst of an escalating cost of living crisis, I would probably put my hand in my pocket and cough up and pay for some things. And the fact that they have not, and I suspect will not, probably tells you a lot. And you should think about that because these people aren't like you. They believe that they are appointed by God or their genes to rule over you. And I think this is exactly the time amid all those colliding crises to start thinking about that. All the questions which concern people who are interested in justice and equality, they all at some point run smack bang through the middle of the British monarchy. And we have to take it into account. We can't just circumvent it or shy away from it or because one of them's died, take our foot off the gas because that is precisely the time to critique rather than just allowing the kind of accession to roll through. People are literally starving. Pensioners will die this winter because they can't heat their homes. And I think it should really bring that into relief. But of course, there is a problem. The British disease is deference, deference to power. And it hasn't always been like that. We have got rid of a king once in this country and they called it the first two years of freedom. And it's something that we should not try and recreate. We're not doing cosplay but it's something we should consider. What could the world look like? What could Britain look like without this mafia family at its head? As we've seen in the last few days, an independent